This here is the Triplight UPS. So since I moved down here to Tejas, I have experienced uh, the Texas power grid, if you will. And with that has come a lot of unideal things. Um, sorry about the mic situation. I'm trying something new to see if this audio works well. So we're giving it a shot here. Um, but basically I've experienced the Texas power grid. If you didn't know, Texas power grid, pretty good now. It's a lot better now, but I would say in this old apartment building, I get a decent amount of brownouts. Um, actually, I don't even think this building's that old, but I get brownouts nonetheless. And that sucks. When you're playing a video game, or as a photographer trying to edit, and your PC all of a sudden shuts down because it got too much power or power dipped for a second and it couldn't keep running, that's not an ideal experience. So to kind of help me with that is this baby here. What a UPS does is sweet, especially for someone in my situation, is this will provide uninterrupted power no matter what. Now it is a battery thing. So, you know, if the battery gets low enough, it will still shut off, which sucks. But I think with my system and I have a high end system, I'll put the specs on the screen here. I, I'll probably get about five minutes of runtime before I will be out of power. But that's not really the main concern for me. Uh, I'm not worried about using it during a power outage. Uh, that is something that if the power's out for a long time, like I'll just touch grass. Uh, but for the time that it is not gonna be out for a long time or that I have those brownouts or a power surge or just the energy is not necessarily the cleanest coming inside. So for any of that, this baby's gonna solve my issues. So this is the 1500 volt amp unit, which I believe will do about 900 watts. And this is just an unboxing video, so I'm not gonna show you too much here, but here's a USB to, I think that's 3.0 adapter here. And so let's talk about this guy a little more. This is a smaller boy here, but it is a lead acid battery. It's not lithium, but lead acid is, it's like marked up on the back. It's not even a used one. All right, well, that's rough. I think it's some of the machine marking actually at the end of the day. Anyways, let's continue with the video for now. So basically this can run a computer for 50 minutes at a 250 watt load. Now I kind of think mine's gonna idle around 140. So I could technically get that if I was maybe running one Google Chrome tab. So I'm trying to negate power surges or lack of power or dirty power entering my computer, making it run better overall, and it'll probably help extend the longevity of the parts. Uh, but starting out here, so they have a bunch of different units you can look at. I'll, I'll maybe link this one down below. This is the top one they offer for this. They offer a 600 volt amp, a thousand, a 1200, and the 1500 big boy here. And on the back here, you get a reset switch here for your boy. You get the master UPS and surge. This is a UPS and surge. So the UPSs are the ones that will run off the battery in case of a lack of power or power failure. And this is a sine wave one. So the sine wave ones are supposed to be more reliable. They're supposed to be transitioning between the power and battery seamlessly. So if your wall power goes out, you're not supposed to have anything go super wrong. It's supposed to just boom, transition, you're good. And then on the other side here, we just have surge protectors only. But either way, anything entering this is gonna get cleaned up before it enters anything plugged into the back of this, which is sick and I'm excited for. The other super cool thing here is on the front, you have this little doohickey here that just lifts out and you're supposed to pull that out ahead of time, but you know, we're not the brightest bulb on the tree, so we didn't do that. There we go, we pull that sucker out. Okay, well that's, I'm gonna just point this out. I'm a little disappointed to see that this is a micro B slot. Um, What the hell? Uh, micro B is a while ago, in case you didn't know. Um, we don't need to be using that anymore. Okay, this is like, am I dumb? Oh, I gotta go higher. Boom, that's good. Let's get this sucker plugged in and you see what she does when she's a wee bit turned on, you know? Okay, clicked on. Heard the battery, fan kicked on. Now, I don't expect the fan to run all the time. I think the fan's just gonna run as it charges up to 100% here. Um, I'll try and let you guys see the screen a bit here too. Live stare at it. So you can see we are sucking 117.0.6, going up a little bit, 0.6. So we're technically a little under spec here. 
uh, which is probably why I'm seeing my PC do weird things here and there. We're actually mostly full though. And you can see we have the power button, of noise button, and I think this will toggle us between input out hertz, VDC, I don't know what VDC stands for. Battery's at 59%, so that's nice to see. Um, and then you can turn on the RGBs somehow. Maybe I can't, because I'm dumb. Never mind. There we go. Now it's actually turned on. So now these outlets will be charging stuff. As you can see, we got the gamer RGBs on the front here. I'm so sorry for that beep. That was probably loud as hell. And the cool part is that we're not gonna take a look at today. I'm hoping to do another video later on, but there is an app for your PC to control this. So say the power does go out and you're not home or you're not at your PC and your PC's on, this will actually shut it down through the software when the battery starts to get low so that you don't actually have a rough power shut off. You can have this turn it off for you, which is actually sweet. Um, the other cool thing is the gamer display here. Uh, I don't think it's charged at all at the moment. It doesn't seem that way at least. And because of that, it will not stay on when I unplug it. But this is just an unboxing, so don't expect too many things done here. I'm gonna plug it into the PC, get it all set up, and then I'll come back after a week and let you guys know what I think. But you get this in the box, you get the you know wall thing. This is to control it through the app, I believe. The screen here, just it does cool things, you know? Um, unplugging it, seven hours. You know, you, sorry. When you unplug the screen, you can bring it up to 20 feet away, six meters for non-Americans, and it'll last up to 12 hours. And all you do is just redock it here to charge it back up. And the other cool thing here is this whole thing will charge back from 10% to 90% in about seven hours. So the exciting thing for me is again, hopefully this will add some time onto my PC parts for length of lifespan and clean power energy. I won't have random shutdowns. If a surge comes through, I won't lose power to my desk. Hopefully it'll just make the whole experience of using my computer that much better. And that's all I can really ask of this product. Um, you can buy an external battery. It looks about the same, same housing and all, and just sits next to it, plugs into the top of the back here, and you can have extra, even more time, probably 10 minutes with a system like mine, uh, if you're actually doing stuff on it. but. Nonetheless, super cool to see. Um, I'm excited to see this thing and try it. I'm more excited to see the results versus the actual unboxing looking at it experience. So expect that vi video to come in about a week or two after I've given this baby a shot for a couple weeks and see if I notice any difference. So with that, thanks for watching this quick unboxing of this Triplight uh, UPS backup. Super excited to have this thing actually here and be able to use it. And with that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.